Hey guys, it's Gruff. One of my favorite ways to pass time when I'm bored is making camp bracelets. So I'm going to teach you how to make a really simple one today. We're going to learn how to make jellyfish bracelets. What you're going to need for this project is some scissors and a piece of cardboard. Anything from the recycling bin would be great, just about the size of your hand. You're also going to need some string. It doesn't totally matter what type of string you choose for this bracelet. I'm going to use embroidery floss because it's what I typically use for bracelets, but yarn also works really well for these bracelets. The thicker the string you choose, the thicker your bracelet will be. So if you want a chunkier bracelet, you're going to want to use something like yarn. If you want it to be smaller, I'd suggest using the embroidery floss. First, you're going to want to take your scissors and cut a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just do your best. You want it to be about the size of the palm of your hand or maybe a little bit larger. Next, you're going to use a pen and just use it to poke a hole right about the center of the wheel. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly centered, just try and get it as close as possible. Now you're going to use the pen to mark eight slots around the circle. So I start with doing one across from each other and then doing the same across on the other sides and then dividing those sections each in half again. You want to have eight little slots and they should only be about a centimeter long. Now you're going to cut on those slots that you made with the pen. Make sure that you don't cut too far. You only want a tiny little cut. You can always make it bigger. It's hard to make it smaller. So try and keep them very small. Your next job is to select your strings. So you need to pick seven different colors or seven strings. You can use two of the same color, but you need to have seven separate strings. You want to cut your strings so that they're about a meter to a meter and a half long or about the arm span of your person. Next, you're just going to make a simple knot in the end. So just make a circle and tuck the string into it as you can see in the picture and then you're going to pull that tight. Once you've pulled that knot tight, you're going to have a little bit of string left at the end with a knot and all of your other strings flowing at the other end. What you want to do next is push your strings through the cardboard. So using your pen, you're going to try and push your strings through the little hole in the center of the wheel that you've made. Just try and push them through, make sure that all seven strings get all the way through. When the strings are all tucked in, you're going to want to pull the knot through the wheel so the knot is on the bottom side of your wheel. So the top side is going to have all the strings and the bottom side is going to have the knot. What you want to do now is pull the knot right up tight against the wheel and then you want to put each of your strings in one of the slots. So just spread your strings out. There should be seven strings and eight slots. So there's going to be one slot that doesn't have a string in it. That's okay, that's how it should be. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually do the bracelet making part of this project. So what I've done is I've made a template in behind so that you can see what's happening. You don't actually need to make this cardboard part that I have behind. It's just going to show you guys what's happening. So I've just labeled the empty slot and then the first three slots around it just so you guys can see, but you don't need to make that at all. So you're going to want to put the empty slot towards yourself. Always keep the empty one towards you. And then what you're going to do is you count three strings around the side. So you'll see I've labeled one, two, and three. So the light blue one is the third string. When you locate your third string, what you're gonna do is unclick it from the little slot. So make sure you pull it right out of the slot. And then you're gonna bring it over to the empty spot. So it's going to move from where it was to, to the empty spot. So you're gonna bring the string from number three where it was to the empty spot and you're gonna click it into the slot. So it's new space is in that slot and that's where it's gonna stay. So you've now completed the first motion. So all you're gonna do now is turn the wheel so the new empty spot, so the spot that was number three before is the new empty spot. Just turn the wheel so that that empty spot is back towards you, so back at the front. So now you're basically repeating the same steps over and over again. So again, you're gonna count three slots. So one, two, three, and you found the pink string. And so the pink string is going to move from number three to the new empty spot. So the pink string is coming from number three and moving to the empty one. You're clicking it right into that spot. And again, you turn the wheel so that the empty one is back towards you. So your goal is always to put the empty one back towards you and you just keep repeating the same step over and over again. So it's very simple. You just count three spots, move a string and put it in the empty one. And then you just turn it and start all over again. The most important thing is to make sure that your strings don't get tangled. What can happen is if you're not paying attention to the strings, all the big long ends that you have can get really, really tangled. And so you sort of end up having a bracelet that is trying to happen on the ends that you don't want the bracelet to happen on. 
and they all just end up really, really tangled and it becomes a great big knot. So your biggest job is to make sure that every time you're kind of combing your fingers through the strings to keep it from tangling. So it's going to take lots of time. You have to just keep moving strings. It's going to take some time before you see anything happening. But eventually at the bottom, on the back side where the knot is, you're going to start to see the bracelet come through. So the whole bracelet is going to come through the center of the wheel and it's going to look like it does in the picture. As you go, you will need to stretch your bracelet out a little bit. So you're going to want to hold onto the bracelet tightly at the very top and kind of give it a little bit of a pull. You'll find that it will stretch out and it'll end up being longer than it looks, especially if you're using yarn, it stretches out quite a bit. Just make sure that when you're doing this that you're not pulling against the wheel because you can end up making holes and then your weave will look really um, open in places. When you're sure that your bracelet is long enough to put on, all you're going to do is take it off the wheel, but do not take it off the wheel until you know it's long enough because it's impossible to put it back on afterwards. So once you know it's long enough, just remove all the strings from the wheel, pull the wheel right off. It can go in the garbage or you can reuse it. And then all you're going to do is just tie your bracelet onto your wrist or your ankle or wherever you'd like it and you're done. Congratulations.